Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse is releasing this June, and Funko just released all of their figures today, so we're gonna be going over to Hot Topic to find out how many we can actually get. And just like that, everybody, we've made it to Hot Topic, and now before we dig into them, let's do a giant pan of the entire section so you guys can see everything that they've got. And now when we get a little bit closer, you can see that they have all of the ones they had on their Instagram. So we've got Spider-Gwen, as well as Spider-Man 2099, I'm loving that suit. And then to the right of that, we also have Spider-Woman, and this one, I mean, the amount of detail on it's crazy. Then to the right of that, we do have Spider-Man India. Now, I don't know too much about this one, but definitely an amazing figure. And then I was gonna say last but not least, but we actually have like way more than I thought they had because we also have Medieval Vulture, we've got the Spot, Spider, Bite, and then Spider-Man over here. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be getting every single one of these today. And now, you know what, just for fun, let's take a look at the back here to see if there's any other ones that I need. No, that is every single one of them, pretty crazy. And now, I guess taking a look around a little bit more, we might as well see what else they have. And down here, I'm noticing a lot of the Star Wars ones, and that's not really the main part of the hunt today, but there was one that I was thinking of getting just in case it sells out. It was the C-3PO, which I actually see over here on the side because, I mean, look at the amount of detail on this thing. Yeah, I'm gonna grab it just in case. And then above that, I was looking in the Guardians of the Galaxy section to see if they got in the Flocked Cosmo, but it seems like they've sold out. I'm not seeing any. Oh, and then also, for any of my My Hero Academia fans, they do have this one over here, the Tokoyami, the brand new exclusive, which looks kind of interesting. I mean, I don't know much about this character, but I do like the way the lines are done. And then besides that, that's pretty much everything that's new. So let's grab every single one of the Spider-Man figures and let's go back to the office. Oh, and you know what? I almost completely missed the Jujutsu Kaisen one over here exclusive to WonderCon. This is actually the first time I've ever seen it. Pretty neat in person. Well, everybody, that went a lot better than expected. Because I swear they did not post every single one of them on their Instagram, but I was able to get way more than that. And now I think the best idea is to start with the outlier, because I was able to get C-3PO, probably the best one from the normal size figures in the set. Because I don't know if you've seen, but they're also releasing a Jabba the Hutt and Salacious B. Crumb, as well as Darth Vader and Luke battling it out. And this one here is just great. I love the way they put him in the chair, and then also the base for this figure, because of course Star Wars ones have to have them, they made it out of logs instead of the normal just black color. And what I'll probably do is closer to May the 4th, I'll do a video on every single one of these, so stay tuned. But now let's get into these Spider-Man figures because I really want to take a look at them. And I guess the first one that I grabbed here was Spider-Bite. It seems more of like a tech Spider-Man and I'm not gonna know everything about every single one of these characters because the movie's not out yet, so bear with me. But one thing that I've gotta say is I am loving the hair on this character as well as her arms. Oh my gosh, that's so interesting. Like the way she's kind of in this 8-bit style, but then also has like wires for arms and it almost looks like they're floating. Wow. I gotta say, Funko, you outdid yourself with this one. Like they definitely put a lot of care into all of these figures. And then next up here, we've got Spider Woman, which is another pretty interesting one. And now this one, I definitely want to take out of the box because her hair is huge and I'm sure there's a lot more going on. Alrighty, so let's see what we've got here. And oh, you know what? I think we saw this in the trailer, but I'm pretty sure she's pregnant in this figure. And so maybe that's going to be a big part of the movie. I'm not sure, but it kind of reminds me because I believe there's only been two figures like that so far. The Wanda one from, of course, WandaVision, as well as this. And I gotta say, I really do enjoy how they did her goggles and how you can tell that it's like a separate piece that goes above and it's not just like eyes printed on top of it. And then also the hair is really, really well done. Like Funko always goes above and beyond with that. Like look at the detail on the back. Now, next up here, we've got Spider-Man 2099, who I actually found out recently is voiced by Oscar Isaac. This one here is another great figure. Like, I feel like Funko, with all of these ones, did not skip out on anything. And something I'm noticing is that this character seems a little bit translucent. Like, the blue is definitely on the body, and then the head, it's a little bit hard to tell because it is pretty thick, but I gotta say, it's something weird going on. And not like a bad weird, just like something that I haven't seen very much on a pop. I don't know, I'm enjoying it. Now, I guess we'll do the only one that isn't a spider today, or actually there might be two. Anyways, we'll talk about the other one after. This one here is the Medieval Vulture, and you know what? It kind of reminds me of the one from the live-action Scooby-Doo. I don't remember his name. Is it the Old Man Jenkins, or, or whatever his name is in that movie? He has the flying contraption when he's trying to get out of prison. I don't know. This suit kind of reminds me of that, because it is the Medieval Vulture, so it's almost like it's handmade. Do you guys see what I'm talking about? Like, on the back here, as well as the 
front. I don't know. It's just really cool. And I think why I like these figures so much is because they translate so well from the movie to these figures. Like, they're kind of simpler anyways. Ah, I just love them. Like, especially with the way they did the arms and how you can almost see, like, it's like the wooden ones and how it looks like he could flap them himself, as well as, like, the wooden claws for feet. Like, really, really neat. And I cannot wait to see what this is going to look like in the film. I mentioned a second ago that there was another one that wasn't a spider. And this one here is the spot. I'm guessing another villain or at least somebody different. Like I said earlier, I don't really know everything about each one of these characters, but there is something interesting going on with this one where they actually gave him like somewhat of a black hole in the back. And it kind of reminds me of Vanta Black the color because of the way you can't see through it at all. And if you look, it is kind of in the back like he's coming out of it. I really like that because I'm pretty sure in the trailer, this is what we see like the spot coming out of a black spot. And so, yeah, this is a little bit of a simpler character and they totally didn't have to put the spot on the back, but I think that one really sets it apart from the rest of them. I think that's why I enjoy it so much. Now, who do we have here? Oh, right, this one is Spider-Man India. Another one that, again, I don't know much about because I don't believe they were in the first one, or at least if they were, I don't remember them that much. But the suit on this thing looks crazy. And also, I noticed after I had bought this one that there is another version coming out of Spider-Man India. I believe it was a metallic suit and it looks very similar to this one. It's going to Walmart and if I see that one, I'll probably pick it up. It's just too bad that I got this one before seeing that because they are very, very similar. Like the exact same sculpt, just that one is a little bit shinier. And I'm not saying that this is a bad figure, but honestly, sometimes I don't like the metallic versions because they take away the color a little bit. I don't know if that makes sense, but for this one here, it seems like the normal colors that aren't so shiny might seem a little bit more vibrant, which I do like. So if I do ever find the metallic version at Walmart, I'll probably pick them up and then compare the two and then you guys can let me know which one you enjoy more. Now everybody, we are getting into some of the best ones here. We've got Spider-Gwen, which in the box looks pretty clean. It also looks very similar to pretty much every other Spider-Gwen we've seen, but hey, you can't complain because their suit's the same in every single one. And I did see that they made other versions as well. Actually, now that I've been talking about it, there is a complete exclusive list. I just haven't seen any of them yet in stores. It's these ones here if you want to check them out. And there is also an unmasked version of Spider-Gwen, which is probably the one that I'm also going to be going for. And then if they're different enough, I'll keep both. But if they're not, I'll probably just go for one of them, maybe the unmasked version. But still, a really, really cool figure. And I like how they also gave her kind of like, they kind of remind me of like Chuck Taylors. I don't know why I said kind of twice there, because they're not exactly, but they are close. And I also really enjoy the detail of the laces going all the way around the back, because that's probably how she ties them in the movie. And I'm wondering if Marvel's like, you need to keep that on the figure, because it is probably a pretty defining feature of the shoe. Or maybe it's a big thing she does in the film. And now we've got one more normal size figure, then I've got something else to show you that I found at the cache. And the last one that I've got here is Spider-Man, which if I'm going to be honest, I don't know if this is going to be Miles Morales or just Spider-Man in a black suit. I didn't look that up. But don't worry, I will definitely know that before the film comes out. It's just for this one, I wanted to be a little bit more surprised when I got the figures. And I guess, yeah, I definitely am. Like, did I know there was a Spider-Man India? No, I had no clue. And anyway, here is the Spider-Man. And wow, look at that. The way they did the printing on the front there. Like, it doesn't seem like it's the entire figure, but it's definitely a good amount of it. Where instead of, like, sculpting it in, because it's probably really small and hard to do, they did this print, which looks really neat. There's also some on his legs, as well as feet and chest and it's probably because that's the very unique style that they're doing for these films, and it's probably going to be closer to what it actually looks like in the movie. And now, everybody, the last thing that I grabbed was actually a pocket pop that I found over at the front. They had this spot, and I don't know if they're going to be doing more of these or if it's just the one, but if they do make more, I mean, I do like to collect these ones because they're a little bit smaller. I can put them up on my bulletin board. It uh, would be cool to grab them. And something I do really like about this one, too, is that they kind of just scaled down the big figure, so if you look closely in the back, you can see it still has the spot, but no base on this one because of course it is a keychain it would be floating and well anyways everybody there we go that is all of the figures that i've got for today and please let me know in the comment section below if you would like to see a video where i look for all of the exclusives for this set because i know there is a lot of them it could be a really fun hunt where i go to all of the different stores to see how many i can find and anyways i hope that you guys did enjoy and i'll see you guys tomorrow